Is there anything uh, that you want to do that you're interested There's in? There's all kinds of things. Well, like what? I mean, well, I'm, I'm, I'm a director and I'm a producer, so I'm, I'm also a writer. So, sure. you know, I've been developing Paolo Coelho's book, The Alchemist, for about 20 years. I've been trying to bring that to the screen. Okay. Uh, and I'm, I'm feeling like, you know, I'm almost there. I'm sure. <laughs> well, and something that I've been asking uh, actors, actresses, mm -hmm. then they come here, I want to ask you, what is your remote drop movie, Lawrence Fishburne, where you are, if you're watching television and you just have the time to just surf through in a movie, doesn't matter where, where you it find is. it or what, how deep you are into it, you know that this, it's going to be two hours there's, left in the film. There's three of them. That you drop the remote. What are there's those? There's three of them. Okay. There's Lawrence of Arabia. Okay. There's To Sir With Love. And there's the Shawshank Redemption. The Shawshank Redemption is one of your favorites right there. Look right. at you and Those Lawrence three. Fishburne Brockman. Those what do you love three. about the Shawshank Redemption? Um, I love uh, the passage of time. There's so much time that happens. And I love that um, it's, you know, it's a great bromance, right? It's these two men who come together who develop this very, very loving friendship over the period of you know 40 or 50 years or whatever it is um it, it deals with the american penal system um both characters have an arc they both change you know um from the men that they are at the beginning of the story to the end and then the other thing that i that just is kind of really special to me is when you think about um morgan freeman's performance in that movie if the movie had been made during the period of time in which it takes place mm -hmm. in the 1930s. He was playing the James Cagney part. And that just for me as, as an actor, as, as, a, as a man of color, was really inspirational because it's like he plays the Jimmy Cagney part that, you know, he wouldn't have been cast in the Jimmy Cagney part then. Yeah, I mean, Stephen King wrote it for a white Irish man. Right. That's why his name is Red. That's why his name is Red. But the fact is that he's, you know, he's just as... Irish as, any, as anybody else. Right. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.